Harry decides to look for an AMC Pacer, which is an offer only a few kilometers away. First of all, I found out more about the model. I checked out the ad and found out what this car is all about. This car has been haunting me for decades, but I never owed one. Kind of looking forward to finding out what it's going to be like. I assume that the car is in good condition, so let's find out. Harry has known Simon Artemis, the guy who's selling the Pacer, for quite a while now from the local classic car scene. Simon, hello. Hello, Harry. Hello. Nice to see you. Great. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Yes. That's the object of desire. Crazy, crazy color. It's called sea spray, right? Yeah. Sea spray green. Hmm. And does it run? Yeah, it should run. Just tried it before. Battery's full. Tank's full as well. It looks like an oversized gun machine. Yeah, it looks great all around. Yes, a view all in all directions. The windscreen isn't scratched, all the chrome parts are top. That's what it is all about, character, and that I don't have to invest a lot of hard work to get everything back into working order. The rear lights shouldn't be faded, so you should easily get this car through the MOT in Germany. Oh, uh, it even has the original license plate from Arizona, Jetson Grand Canyon State. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, Harry, let's talk about the money. What do you have in mind? Well, Simon, I like the car, but there is a small problem in the ad. It said that the car had done 82,000 kilometers, but now it's 82,000 miles. That's a whopping 45,000 kilometers more. And I would have to explain this to my client who is already interested in this car. You know, I normally get my car in top condition, ready to be sold on. But this means I have to redo the MOT and also provide a new test certificate, which is compulsory for classic cars in Germany. On top of that, I have to touch up a few things, nothing major. So because of this and because of the extra work I have to do, I'm willing to offer a 14,000 euros. Might pose a problem for me. Quite frankly, I can't lower the price by that much. My offer would be that we reduce the price from 15,900 euros to 15,000 euros. The car is in a good condition and you've seen that for yourself. So what do we say? 15,000 euros? Let's meet halfway at 14,500 euros and then we both have made a good deal. That sounds fair. Harry will sell the car to Bear Lesker for 16,000 euros. He has to first pay for the MOT, the classic car certificate and some minor repairs. I've calculated a very low markup and that's just to cover my costs. It's more like a favor to a friend as he is a good long-standing client and at the same time a good friend of mine. I think I'm doing him a favor. Normally I sell my cars with a higher and commercially more viable markup. Harry usually gets 20% of the sale price. I've done the deal because I assume that Simon has been honest and has told me everything, except for things that nobody can anticipate, such as the noise the speedometer cable is making. I expect that the engine runs smoothly, that the automatic gearbox works perfectly, and that the car doesn't pull left or right when braking. In other words, that the car will behave just like I expect it to behave. This test drive is just a final technical checkup. The pacer seems to be okay. Now Harry can only hope that Berleska likes this quirky car. If, contrary to expectations, my client does not like the car, and I really don't think that this will be the case, I will abide by my offer to purchase the car. I will include the car in my stock of cars, and I will try to sell it through my normal channels. It won't be difficult for Harry, as the pacer nowadays is a sought-after collector's item. Their Leska does not know that Harry soon will present him with an oversized chewing gum machine. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're not being serious, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's what I meant. A pacer? I'll go crazy, but man, this is such a cool idea. 
Wayne's World. Yeah, Wayne's World. That was one of my favorite Matchbox cars. Yeah, have a look. <laughs> Probably not this color though, right? Not in this color, not in white. Is that leather? This is the typical leatherette. It was very common in America. The color is called sea spray green. The only color in which you can actually look at a pacer at all. And then also in the interior, so it doesn't get any louder. Oh. Yeah. Aquarium car. Yeah, perfect for a promotion. That's a lot of room in this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We could present our new product in this somehow. He yeah, looks in good condition, though. What's it like underneath? Top class. Here you can see that the car comes from Arizona. That is the original license plate. Very dry there. Snow is unknown, matching the exterior color. We have the Jetson Grand Canyon. What, the Jetsons? The Jetson Grand Canyon in the state of Arizona. Until 2010, this car wasn't exposed to any salt rain or only very little rain. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, something I immediately notice, it is quite typical. This car doesn't have any cracks on the dashboard. None at all. All the interiors are in excellent conditions. Even the inside of the roof looks great. So it hasn't been standing in the sun somewhere. And now I have a big surprise for you. I am in possession of the original car invoice. Let me guess, brand new, just about $6,000? 2800 <laughs> really quirky car. Any man from Swabia would say it's built like a brick shed, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So it's totally dry. It comes from Arizona, it's not been in the sun for too long. Meets my needs. Now we come to the biggest problem of all price. You're gonna laugh. You have even got some money to spare. I stayed way under the limit. Yes, with MOT and ready to drive, it comes to a total of 60,000 euros, mates rates. 16,000? Including MOT and ready to drive? The MOT, personalized number plate. Classic car certificate? Of course. It's a deal then. <laughs> My pleasure. Good, I'll take it for a spin. Go ahead. Of course, Bear is initially just going to take it for a test drive, but then afterwards he decides to take the car with him straight away. I think Bear is going to have a lot of fun with that car. 